All right, dudes and dudettes. So to start off, guys, we're going to start with sizing your rope. Now, it's super important to have the right jump rope cable length. And as you can see here, you can measure that by stepping in the middle of the rope and pulling the handles up to your nipple or chest area. And as you can see, the nip, the rope handle should be right underneath my armpit. So as you can see here again, now the recommended size for your rope guys, if you are 5'10 or taller, your rope cable excluding the handles should be three feet taller than your height. So I'm 6'3", so therefore my rope cable is 9'3", not including the handles. If you're below 5'10", just add two feet, 10 inches to that, and that's the length of the rope cable that you should have. See so again, pulling it up into underneath my armpit. It's super, super important to have the right rope length because you have the right combination of tightness and ability to spin that rope. Now holding the rope, guys, before we go all out and start showing you how to jump, you go, you're going to need to know how to hold the rope. Now notice here, my body is in perfect symmetry. My wrists are jutting out to the sides of my hips directly and jump rope is all about doing less. There is not a lot of movement involved as you'll see here in a sec, but in terms of holding the rope, you don't wanna to be too high up, you don't wanna have your wrist down too far because you want to spin the rope so that it clears your head with the same amount of inches or centimeters that it clears your feet. So you wanna be right in the middle of that spin. Always have your knees bent, guys. I cannot stress that enough. You don't wanna be you know, having your knees locked because that will definitely mess them up. You don't wanna be having them you know, too low because that would be a really hard way to jump rope. Anyway, next up, guys, we have get up on your toes, okay? So uh, with bending the knees, guys, you wanna make sure that you're up on your the balls of your feet, on your toes the entire time you're jumping. You never wanna be flat-footed, okay? And as you can see here, I'm jumping and I'm on my toes the entire time and my feet are not coming any more than at the most two inches off the ground for regular bounce. So somewhere in the range of one to two inches is all that. And as I see, as you can see, I start going faster and it requires that I actually jump um, lower to the ground. So now putting it all together, guys, spinning the rope, check out my body movements here. As you can see, jumping rope is all about doing less. The only thing that's working here, guys, you'll see in a sec, my wrists. My wrists are controlling everything. I cannot stress that enough. Some people jump too high and do almost like a butt kick, and you really wanna focus more on your wrists and the feet will follow, I promise. So check out here, the wrists. Notice how I'm, I'm spinning the rope with every, just using my wrists and my shoulders and everything above my elbows has no movement, as you can see here from the side. Look at that, perfect. Up on the toes, knees bent. I'm swinging the rope, everything is controlled by my wrists and I'm making sure that everything is staying nice and tight. So go ahead guys, trust me, I was not and Brandon was not that good when we first started and that's totally fine. I know I say this in every video, but it just takes some practice. So next, what I wanna to talk to you guys about is how can you just start doing this? What I'd recommend is that you guys start practicing three to five minutes a day to just get the fundamentals down of this regular bounce because this from here if you can spin the rope fast you can not only get an awesome body but you can do more tricks and make it challenging see you guys on the next zen dude fitness tutorial